How's it going everybody? Dustier here, and we are in the final node for Dark Dimension 7. And thank you everyone who's been following along from the beginning of the planning portion to node 1 all the way now to the final node so we can get that Mephisto unlock. Now this did happen maybe about a month or so ago, but I wanted to get all these other videos out first, so these kept getting put on the back burner. So thank you so much for being patient with me as well while I got these videos done and completed. So let's go ahead, give a quick recap on the characters I used, and start the attacks. And the characters that I took along are going to be Apocalypse, Super Scroll, Kestrel, and I went with Doctor Doom. Now with that Ultimus rework, would I take him? Honestly, no, I would still go with Doctor Doom, mainly because he's cheaper and requiring tech and mystic. And once I unlocked Mephisto, I was able to take him all the way to G19 because of the mystic gear that I saved from not taking one of those high priced characters. Now let's go ahead and start my attacks. So this initial wave can be a little bit tricky, mainly because of the targets on the other side and having that Drax out there with that taunt. The Super Scroll does start by doing the ultimate. The main reason for that is to get that offense down on the other side of the field, which is gonna help us survive a whole lot easier. For Super Scroll's second turn, I do end up doing the basic on him that was able to get the taunt off of him. So now with Apocalypse, I am able to target the enemy Kang and use the special. I want to save that ultimate for the following turn. For Kestra's turn, I end up targeting Dr. Doom and doing the special. That would allow me to get the defense down out there for the entire side of the board. Now here the Kang does end up doing the ultimate, luckily it didn't wipe my entire team out. Now we're going to end up using Apocalypse's ultimate, that does end up taking out the Doctor Doom, and I opt to use that Falcon Punch on the stunned Morgan, I just didn't want the chance of her getting unstunned, and basically healing all the way back up while destroying my entire team. The Drax does have another taunt on him, so we are going to be stuck behind him for a little bit. And there you can see the power of that Kang. He ends up doing his basic and just takes out our Super Scroll. At this point, we did end up killing two characters. We got a lot of abilities out of the way, so we will be keeping this and going back in for attack number two. The first attack is in the books, and we ended up doing 110 million points of damage. It wasn't the most damaging hit, but it was the most efficient hit. We got a lot of big targets out of the way, we got a lot of abilities burn, so now we're going to be ready to finish this wave off and dive right into that second wave. For attack number two, the Drax ends up doing a, I believe, an ultimate ability. I'm not quite sure of his abilities, but he doesn't have the taunt on him, which is very good. We're now going to be able to target that enemy Kang, and we're able to take another character out. The Kang ends up doing the special into our Super Scroll. Luckily, the Super Scroll was able to survive this. For Super Scroll's turn, we do end up doing the special to do a turn rewind to the Agent Venom and the Nightcrawler. We're going to try to work on that middle portion of the board first, because that Agent Venom actually does quite a bit of damage to us. Apocalypse ends up doing the ultimate into the Nightcrawler, the ISO attack came in, but we will just finish him off by doing the Falcon Punch into him. For Doctor Doom, we are going to end up saving that ultimate. It's going to be more important when that second wave drops in. For Apocalypse's turn, we do opt to save that special. We're going to use that basic into the Kang, and we do get him killed off. Now we're going to be able to farm our abilities a little bit. We're going to focus on that Black Cat, 
and there's still going to be that taunt there with the Drax. So we're just going to use our basics and get to that second wave. So here the Black Cat is dead, the Drax is about to be killed off, so that second wave is going to start coming down here very shortly. So the Drax is finally killed off, and this is going to be the pain of the wave. There's two Morgans and two Quicksilvers. Doom is going to start by doing the ultimate. So we did get that timing down perfect to when the wave drop, Doom was able to use his ultimate. Now that it's Apocalypse's turn, we're going to end up using the ultimate. And here we are going to use that Falcon Punch on one of the Morgan Le Fays. Apocalypse is going to use that special on the Quicksilver. My goal right now is to kill one Morgan and one Quicksilver. That's it. And here you do see that I end up doing the basic into the Morgan, so that way we can use that striker hit, and that does end up taking out the one Morgan Le Fay. And here the second Morgan ends up taking their turn. They end up doing that special, unfortunately, so they did get rid of all of our turn meter. The Quicksilvers are going, and we're basically going to wipe here. So for Super Squirrel's turn, I was deciding, do I want to use the ultimate here, or just wipe and save that for the following hit? I did opt to go for the basic instead. I'd rather come in with that third hit, and to be able to use that ultimate right off the bat. So for attack number two, we end up doing 215 million points of damage. You see I'm about one third to about one half portion through this entire node. It's come in fairly quick, but you can kind of see the puzzle that this node has. So let's go ahead and start attack number three. So here we are a little bit lucky. Both Quicksilvers are at about half health. The Morgan was able to take the turn right off the bat. And Apocalypse was able to retaliate and get this done on her. That did take a little bit of reset to be able to get that retaliate in time. So the Age of Venom did end up going at our Apocalypse and that was able to push him to where he can finally take his turn. I do start by doing the special with Apocalypse into the Quicksilver as opposed to the Ultimate. I wanted to get that health rebalance out there. For Super Scrolls turn, we end up targeting the Quicksilver and use the basic that did chain around and we were able to kill one of the Agent Venoms.
So because of the defense down in the pings, we were able to hit one of the quicksilvers and the Kestrel ping was able to get rid of one of the quicksilvers. For Super Scrolls turn, we do opt to do the basic again into that Quicksilver. As you notice, we don't really need the abilities right here, so we are able to save those for that third wave that's about to come down. We got rid of the Quicksilver. Apocalypse is going to use the basic into that Morgan. And that Striker hit was able to get her killed off. So now we just have the Scarlet Witch left, and then the wave is over. So this is another tricky wave. We have two pre-taunts, one in a Drax, one in an Absorbing Man. This is the wave where we really need to time it when we get wiped. So Apocalypse does end up doing the ultimate right off the bat. We end up using that Falcon Punch into that Quicksilver. Kestrel does the special into that Quicksilver as well. And we're just going to try to take him out before he gets his turn off. Unfortunately, the Quicksilver did take his turn. Apocalypse does end up doing the basic end to him, we get a nice hit around everybody. The striker attack did allow him to live, but the Doombot was able to take care of him. So here the Spider Weaver does end up using her ultimate, so she does have charges on herself. Luckily we do have several characters that have the unavoidable attacks in them. So because of these unavoidable attacks, such as the Apocalypse ones, I am basically free to still do some pretty good damage out there. So here we do end up wiping. We did quite a bit of damage, we got rid of that second wave, and some pretty good damage into this third wave. So let's go ahead and check the damage report, then go right back in. For attack number 3, we did 165 million points of damage. We should be able to clear this out in 2 more hits. We're going to try to do as much damage as we can on this next hit, but we need to wipe before the next wave comes in. That's going to be the secret, so that way we could end up doing that Doom Drop. Because of the Sunspot having those charges, those Extreme X-Men characters will have some ability energy right off the bat. The Super Scroll is going to start by doing the basic into that Drax, and we were able to kill one of those characters. The Spider Weaver does end up doing the ultimate. Again, that's perfectly fine because we have several characters that have unavoidable attacks. Here the Apocalypse does end up doing the ultimate, and we do opt to use the Falcon Punch on the Gambit. I didn't like those pings, so I want to get rid of those. So here was the mistake that I used. I keep thinking that Super Scrolls Special is unavoidable as well, but it's just his basic. So right now I am just going to focus on characters that have defense down. I start hitting into the Absorbing Man so that way Kestrel Pings can start hitting other characters. Apocalypse does end up doing the special into that Sunspot, and we did get a pretty good Striker hit off that as well. Super Scroll ends up doing that basic. And here the Nightcrawler does end up doing the special again. For Kestrel's turn, I do opt to use the special as opposed to the ultimate. I want to get some pretty good damage on that Nightcrawler as well. Super Scroll does the special into that Drax, and here you don't want to use Doctor Doom's ultimate. We're so close to that next wave coming down after we finish this off, so we do want to save that ability. And as you see, I'm just focusing on hitting characters with that defense down. I want to optimize my hits by having Kestro get those pings off. And here the Doctor Doom does get killed off. That's perfectly fine. I don't intend to actually clear this wave and get to that next wave. So right here, Apocalypse was able to do his basic. We were able to kill that Absorbing Man and the Drax is dead. All we need to kill now is going to be that Sunspot 
and the Nightcrawler, but we don't want to actually kill that Nightcrawler. So we're going to take out this Sunspot and hopefully that Nightcrawler can solo us. And right there, the Sunspot actually did us a favor by doing that ability. He was able to take out the Apocalypse, so it's just Super Scroll. We're going to wipe here and then come back in for that last and final hit. So for attack number four, we did 88, almost 89 million points of damage. There's only 74 million points of damage left, so getting very excited. We're going to go in, get this final hit, and get our Mephisto. Super Scroll will be going first here. We're going to try to take out the Sunspot first. So we do use the special from Super Scroll into that Sunspot. For Apocalypse's turn, we are going to save that special and the ultimate. We're going to use that for that Mephisto drop. So now we do just have Nightcrawler left. Kestrel does end up doing the ultimate. I'm perfectly fine with burning her ultimate ability right there and her special if we need to. So the key for this one as far as resets goes, obviously we don't want to lose Dr. Doom, the Apocalypse, or Super Scroll. Just try to get through this to kill him and time it to when we're going to use that Doom Ultimate. The Nightcrawler will be doing the special every single turn, so that is going to be something that you need to play around with. So there I did end up using Apocalypse as special. I felt that I had enough time to where I can actually use the special and get that back in time for that final wave. The Super Scroll, I'm perfectly fine with using the special as well. That does get the exposed on him and a little bit of a turn meter rewind. We're gonna use the Doom Ultimate right here and hopefully we can get it to where we can kill him with those Doom bots. Super Scroll does end up going for the ride right here, so we do the basic into him at this point. We do another basic with the Super Scroll, and now Super Scroll does the special. For Apocalypse's turn, we are going to use that ultimate, and that does end up getting him killed. We are going to use that Falcon Punch into the Drax. We got the kill, now we're going to go all out on this Mephisto. And as you see, this is a whole lot easier because of the nerf they made to that Mephisto. And here Super Scroll does end up doing the ultimate on that Mephisto. We did some pretty good amount of damage. Super Scroll is going to end up doing that basic into the Polaris that does chain into the Mephisto. And there the Polaris did end up bleeding out. The Spider-Man War is doing some pretty good damage to us but I'm feeling really good about this hit at this point. For Super Scroll's turn, because he's blind, I messed up and did the special there. I should've just done the basic again. And here you can see the help that Kestrel did end up having. Because I hit that one character with the defense down, the Kestrel ping was able to take out the Spider-Man Noir. The Mephisto did end up doing the ultimate, but you see that it didn't do as much damage as it could have. Apocalypse was able to take out the Photon, and now we're going to go all out on the Mephisto and we're able to get this kill.
As far as the rank that I did finish Dark Dimension 7, I was ranked 724. That's almost 200 ranks better than I did when I completed Dark Dimension 6. I'm very excited about this. I'm actually very excited about Dark Dimension 8 as well, so there will be a planning series coming out for that. I already started putting some purple ISO in, so stay tuned for those videos. Now hopefully you guys did enjoy my adventure on Dark Dimension 7, and you're going to be with me on my Dark Dimension 8. If you did like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel like always. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.